Hey everybody, it's Tim and we're going to get on with the next video now. This will be the fourth video of the series and we're going to talk about potassium chloride. To begin with, I guess it's best to tell you what function potassium chloride has in the human body. It's used in all cells to, as part of the ionic charge and to create the vibration of your cells, the activity of your cells itself. Red blood cells, mucous membrane, membrane, sorry, uh, stage, as well as this is the combatter of stage two inflammation. Ferrum phosphate was stage one. This is stage two. If you go to the hospital today and you have a potassium deficiency, which is identified through blood labs, and they were to hook you up to an IV bag of potassium. What they will hook you up to is potassium chloride. They don't consider any of the other potassiums, only potassium chloride. The single most used type of potassium in medicine today. But let's get to it and get, get to the facial signs. And here's the biggest one right here. You see the redness around the eyes? Just on the lips of the eyes, you're seeing some redness and we're going to switch photos now this is her so we're seeing that it doesn't cover the entire upper eyelid it's just along the lip you're seeing it in the corner so you know I just wanted you to see that so that you knew it didn't cover the entire upper eyelid uh, here's another one red red along the lips here you're seeing much more inflammation which would be more typical of somebody with a potassium chloride deficiency because remember Potassium chloride is about combating stage 2 inflammation. And here, we're, I'm going to use her a lot whenever it references eyelids. Uh, and in this case, we're, I'm going to use her again in this one. This is what healthy eye, somebody with healthy eyelids looks like. There's nothing going on here whatsoever. Uh, maybe a little bit of loss of collagen. Uh, but beyond that, as far as calcium phosphate... Uh, adrenal fatigue, any of that that you would typically see in the eyelids, uh, potassium iodide deficiencies, those type of deficiencies, not being seen here. So let's start by going through and talking about the different indications of deficiencies, and there's a lot of them. Um, we'll start with vanity. People with vanity will have acne issues. Looks like we have a little bit going on here. So one would expect that. The redness of the lips of the eyes, of course, that's the main indicator. Facial rose, it's kind of hard to see in this fit photo because you can't see the entire photo. Uh, a little bit more acne up here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, skin tags, uh, can't see. You would look for them around the neck, typically. Uh, varicose veins and warts uh, for a potassium chloride deficiency. So they would be the vanity issues. Um, in somebody with a potassium chloride deficiency, you would also expect some of them to have swollen glands, a lot, chronic swollen glands. So it would be recurring. It wouldn't be all the time, but they'd feel like they had swollen glands in their neck or in, in their armpits, um, as well as a very white tongue. Uh, you would have a very white kind of milky tongue in all cases of potassium deficiency. So that's not just specific to this type of potassium health. So health issues uh, that would be indications of a potassium chloride deficiency, that's a little longer, polyps, candida, tumors including cancer-based tumors, um, as well as cancer in the lymph nodes because potassium uh, clears the lymph nodes. So does arsenite or arsenic. Uh, they would have they'd have ravenous extreme hunger, uh, typically obese, but not always. Uh, jaundice, so you'll see some yellowing. And I actually, if you look right here, this we could actually call this. You see yellowing right here, so yellowing around the around the eyes. And I'm sure if we get her to turn her eyes sideways and look to her right, and have her look to her left, that we will indeed see some yellow in the inside corners of her eyes. Emphysema, embolisms. Uh, ear, ear wax buildup, very, very common in people with, with potassium chloride deficiency. 
uh, bronchitis, asthma, angina, again the swollen glands that I've already spoken about. Chronic fatigue syndrome is directly correlated to a potassium chloride deficiency, again because of the inflammation aspect. Rheumatoid arthritis, again inflammation aspect. Hepatitis, pancreatitis. Anything that ends with itis, which is references inflammation, then you're, you're going to, potassium chloride is going to come into play. So now let's talk about the behavioral aspects. For behaviors, there's not as many for potassium chloride, but hypochondria, phobias, including fear of flying, claustrophobia, both directly linked to a potassium chloride deficiency, compulsive behavior, and brain fog. Those are all, all of them. That's really all there is to, to know about it. There's a few other small ones, but those, those, are, those are the main ones. And these are the ones, when you want to consider, you want to find about five of those, which I've just listed. Uh, if you identify with at least five of those, then you want to start considering a potassium chloride deficiency. And you, potassium chloride is taken at a 6x potency. To speak generally, and I don't like to do it this way, I again, I encourage you all to learn and become proficient in muscle testing. Identify what your body needs as far as the actual need as well as the dosage through muscle testing. Your body won't lie, but I can make lots of mistakes. But I'm, while I'm going to open myself up to a mistake, here, here's one that I could possibly be making. The generic dosing for any tissue salt is one tablet for every 50 pounds of body weight taken twice daily at least 15 minutes away from eating or drinking. That meaning could be taken 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after. It's fine. I, anything, an hour before, hour after, that's all fine. So, that's the generic dosing. We've covered vanity, we covered health, we covered behavior. You understand what it does. You, I'm going to go through this again. Red lips of the eyes. Expect to see some inflammation. We're seeing some here. Again, you're seeing a bit of redness here compared to here. You see how light this skin is, and you're seeing some signs of inflammation around here and the nose as well. Acne. If we could open up her mouth and look at her tongue, it would probably be very, be very white. Some glandular issues, some swollen glands, armpits uh, around the neck what have you again very some of these photos by the way are exaggerated to help you exaggerate it slightly to, just to make them more clear so that you can understand and one thing that I didn't cover and I really should now that I have this this when this occurs the red lips of the eyes are uh, indicated in all types of potassium however for potassium chloride it's just the lips of the eyes when you when I get to potassium iodide I'm going to talk about red lips of the eyes as well but when a potassium iodide deficiency is present, you're going to see lots of uh, redness and veins, blood vessels vis visible in the eyes as well. Uh, but that's that. And then we show you one, uh, nothing. So this is what it looks like when somebody doesn't have a potassium chloride deficiency. This, and this is what it looks like when somebody does. That's it for now, folks. Bye-bye.